<clears throat> Thank you very much, Davis. Please, let's take our seats. Your Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, members of uh, the great institutions of Kenjin, Kenya Power, and contractors. This event is an immense milestone on Kenya's journey towards achieving universal access to electricity in order to align our infrastructure development with our broader aspiration for a brighter, more prosperous future for the Kenyan people. In the beginning, this vision was not just seen as, a, as bold and ambitious. It was also considered to be too audacious to be possible. But it has become possible due to resolute commitment to deliver consistent investment of resources and determination to ensure that every Kenyan household, regardless of location, enjoys reliable and affordable energy. I remember we had many conversations, as David Davis has said, in 2013, as to how we will reduce the barrier for entry into having power in people's homes. And I remember somebody telling us, it is like you have already bought a bus that carries 50 people. And only five people can afford. So you are, you are carrying five people in a bus that already costs you, you already have hired a driver, you have put fuel, but you're only carrying five people. Why don't you carry everybody and give them a credit to pay you later? You will make more money that way. It was as simple as that. And that is when we decided to invert the payments. We said, let us connect everybody who is near a grid. Let us connect everybody who is near a transformer. And then let us amortize the payment we would have wanted from them over three to five years. And it has become magic. We have moved from 2.3 million people connected in, 2020, in, in 2013 to now 9.6 million people connected in 2024. That's phenomenal. As a consequence, we have achieved steady, unimpressive progress over the past decade. We have witnessed significant progress in our journey towards universal electrification, raising the national access, as I have said, from 27% in 2013 to 76% now. This means that 9.6 million Kenyan households are now connected to electricity. The Last Mile Connectivity Project has been a transformative initiative whose ambition complements the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. By extending electricity grid to rural and un uh, underserved areas, the Last Mile Connectivity Project is not only effectively bridging the development gap between urban and rural communities, but it has also effectively raised the overall rate of national productivity across sectors by facilitating the uptake of efficient technologies. Part of the reason why I wanted to look at the men and women who are going to implement this project in their faces, and I'm happy all the contractors are here, is because this project is too important for me. It is one of the projects that when I campaigned, the people of Kenya in many areas told me they have no electricity. I remember when I went to plant trees in uh, Moranga uh, about two weeks ago, a whole community there were telling me, Mr. President, we are yet to have the electricity. I am very happy today that the people in that village in Moranga, there is now a contractor who is going to make sure that they get the electricity that I agreed with them. This is, this is very personal because, as we have all said, beyond connecting electricity to people, we also have another program that is going to ride on the transmission lines that you're going to build. You will know, and I'm sure the Kenya Power uh, Management will tell you, that as you uh, um, connect the transmission lines, 
we will also be connecting fiber because we have also committed ourselves <laughs> that as we deliver on electricity, we must deliver internet. We must deliver connectivity. And we have made a conscious decision that we are now going to leverage on the network that Kenya Power has of transmission lines across Kenya for us to deliver last mile connectivity to the internet. Because we are moving to the digital space, we are moving our government services to the digital space, we have ICT hubs that are coming up across Kenya, we are moving our business to e-commerce, we are moving our learning to e-learning, we are moving health to e-health, and therefore the internet is going to be as important as the electricity we are delivering today. So in this project, we are delivering two very critical aspects of the last mile. We are delivering electricity and we are delivering internet. That is why this, this project is very important. Davis and his uh, team, of uh, Washira and team, they know how I have been on their case on this project how I was pushing them to make sure that it gets to the cabinet, it gets the necessary approvals. And I am very proud that today here we have come to sign off this program. I know the agreement between our great partners here, ourselves and the contractors is 18 months. I want to request the contractors to accelerate this program and if there is anything government of Kenya can do to make it that much more easy for you to deliver this program ahead of time, Davis and company will make sure they will be at hand to support you, to make sure that the Kenyans who are listening to me today in different parts of Kenya, who do not have electricity, and who today know that electricity is on the way, I want to ask you not to delay by a day or a minute or a week. Let us deliver at the earliest opportunity possible. Today, I am presiding over a contract signing ceremony to unlock 27 billion Kenyan shillings, or euros 180 million, thereby launching a drive to connect an additional 280,000 Kenyans in 32 counties of our country. This is a very affirmative action pro uh, program. This phase of the project has been made possible because of our commitment of Kenya Shillings 2.5 billion, complemented with counterpart funding from French Development Agency, and I want to thank them for being present, the European Union, thank you, uh, Henrietta, and the European Investment Bank. I wish to express profound appreciation to our development partners for their consistent support throughout the course of this initiative, and in particular to FDA, EU, and EIB for their support of this part of our plan. We are firmly on course to achieving 100% connectivity by 2030. As I speak, we are working on a similar connectivity program worth 22 billion in partnership with AFD and the Kingdom of Saudi to connect another 270,000 Kenyans to electricity. So, apart from the 280,000 that this program is going to connect, there is another 270,000 we are in the final stages of that program because I made a commitment to the people of Kenya and I want to deliver on that commitment because we have been working for the last one year to make sure that we have connected all the partners that have supported this program. Everybody knows that this program at some point went down because there was inadequate resources to drive it. And when I made a commitment to the people of Kenya that connecting electricity is going to be part of our plan, and especially this last mile connectivity program that seeks to equalize the people of Kenya so that people in informal settlements, people in 
different parts of Kenya as part of our bottom-up economic transformation program that you don't have to live in a posh state to have electricity. Electricity must be an equalizer that equalizes all Kenyans, irrespective of their social status, irrespective of their financial capacity, and that is what this program is going to do. By standing with us in this initiative, our development partners have made an indelible contribution to Kenya's economic transformation, and most importantly, to Kenya's inclusivity. And I want to say thank you very much. We really appreciate it. We, we, we don't take this for granted. Power connectivity is a vital priority because electricity is the lifeblood of modern economies. The last mile electricity project has enabled business in rural areas to flourish, contributing significantly to our GDP and creating numerous job opportunities. It has also revolutionized our agricultural sector, powering irrigation systems and agro-processing units, thereby boosting productivity and ensuring food security. By connecting millions of households to power grid, we have not only illuminated homes, but also empowered communities, enhanced education opportunities, improved health services, and turned the entire country into one flourishing economic hub. Universal access is therefore fundamental to achieving economic inclusivity. The Last Mile Connectivity Project is also news to the hustler economy, the micro, small, and medium enterprises, which is the engine of our economy, benefits in immensely from reliable power, enabling them to operate efficiently and by expanding their rich capability and output. Reliable electricity supply is a crucial enabler which complements our other commitments of supporting small businesses, including initiatives such as the Hustler Fund, the housing program we're running, the SHIP program that is already uh, on the way, and all the other programs that we are running. I, as I committed to the people of Kenya, we're going to work together in this, uh, in this program. I have announced uh, a program that will be done between AFD and uh, Saudi. There is yet another program that we are going to work with the World Bank. When I was in Washington, we agreed with President Biden on how America is going to lead the way in ensuring the replenishment of IDA 21, that we are looking for 120 billion uh, US dollars to be able to support concessional funding. When you had Ambassador uh, Gen uh, Andrieta here say that of, them, of this 27 billion, 4.3 billion is a grant. It is not money that we are going to uh, pay interest or even pay at all. That, those are the kind of resources that we are looking for when you find uh, us working on programs like the IDA, like the replenishment program under uh, Africa Development Bank that we, we support in full, because it is concessionary resources that is going to assist our economies to be able to close the gap on development financing so that we can be able to do more with the taxes we are raising, we can be able to do more with the um, uh, loans that we get that are concessionary, like uh, the one that is here, and we can do more through IDA and through AFDB with grants. So this is the trajectory we are working on, and I am very proud that Kenya is playing the front row role of pushing the envelope for this continent to get and catch up with the rest of the globe. So I'm very happy that uh, this afternoon we have done a very most important program for me. You have, um, you have uh, acquitted me from some of the commitments I made. This is, this is very important to me. <laughs> you know, I have a contract with people out there and they keep uh, counting. Uh -huh. This one is done, this one not yet, this one. So I, I am very happy that we are in the process, full steam of transforming our country. I want to say thank you very much. Thank you to the development partners. Thank you to uh, the, the, the team at uh, Energy. Uh, they have been 
uh, a very wonderful team. They have worked with me to make sure that these programs are put together. And to the contractors, you have our support, you have our goodwill, but you must deliver ahead of time. I think that's the agreement we are, we are trying to forge here. Otherwise, thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Another round of applause for His Excellency. And perhaps just for emphasis, all contracts will be signed today. So those responsible for the contracts kindly ensure by the time you leave, they are signed.